Hey everyone, welcome back to Parent and Baby Yoga with Jaya, your maternity community champion. Let's start with the hello song and then we'll go into some mantras and pranayama. Ready? Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. It's time to say hello. Hello Jaya. Hello Teddy Bear Phoenix. Hello to you all. It's time to say hello. Okay, so sit down in a comfortable cross-legged posture. Ready for some Om Mantra time and a short prayer to invoke some positive energy and to remove obstacles. And if you remember the first verse of the Gajananam, then please join in with me. Let's start with three arms to invoke peace. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And we begin. Oh. Mudra and place them on your knees. And if you're holding baby, you can use one hand to support your baby's tummy, holding your baby on your lap, and you can still put your index and thumb together in Chimudra, as you can see, and the other hand can be on your your lap or on your knee. Inhale on one. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Inhale on two. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Inhale deeply on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Mouth is closed. Inhale on five. Exhale on five. Now come to your natural rhythm of breathing. If I skip some numbers there, but don't worry, just relax. Relax your shoulders. Soften your breath. got a little bit distracted as my mic powered off but you keep the calm in your breath so our mantras that we'll be working with today or affirmations even, is that you are and I am 
knowledge, existence, bliss, absolute. We'll be revisiting those affirmations, those truths, they're the truth for all of us. We'll be revisiting those towards the end of the session, if there's time. Okay, so let's go straight into Surya Namaskar. Wake up the body, stretch the entire body before we do our baby coordination exercises. Lay baby down at the top of your mat. And before you come into standing, I'll just move to the open to one side. See if you can just perch here on your tiptoes. And see if you can balance. And then is it possible to flatten your feet fully on the ground? Toes down, feet down. Some of you may not be able to get your, your heels on the ground. So you might find it easier to come back onto the balls of your feet. And when you come onto the balls of your feet, start really working the muscles in your feet by lifting, lifting up completely. Okay, now you're going to lift your buttocks up, press into both feet, tip your body weight forward, forward folding, and unravel up into standing. Your feet are slightly apart. Roll your shoulders down. And centralize yourself on your mat. Now bring your feet together. Tuck the tailbone under. Arms beside the body. Lift the kneecaps up. Inhale. Exhale, palms to chest. Breathing out. Inhale, rise both arms up, open your armpits, reach your fingers to the ceiling. At the same time, you're squishing your arms to your ears and lengthening the entire body. You may need to tuck the tailbone under slightly to discourage you from really arching the back. Avoid arching your lumbar spine. Make it more of a straightening of the whole body, lengthening into the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the length in the arms to the ears. Now bring your palms beside your feet, flatten your palms into the ground, relax your head and neck. If your palms don't go down, bend your knees and see if they come a bit closer to the ground. Inhale, step the right leg back, the right knee and foot soften into the ground, hips facing forward. Take a deep breath in through your nostrils, mouths closed and open your chest, chin up. Extension of the neck muscles, good flexion of the left hip. Hold the breaths, tuck right toes under and step your left leg back in plank. Your feet are together, inner legs, inner feet, your palms or your wrists even are below your shoulders. Look at your mats, long neck, in line with the rest of your spine. Exhale, bend your knees your chest and your forehead into the ground. Tuck your chin to your chest. Your buttocks will be up slightly now. Your belly button is off the ground. Inhale, belly down on the mat now as you scoop the chest and chin up to the ceiling. Untuck your toes and roll your shoulders down. Look at how open the chest is now. Your, your elbows are bent, please guys. Make sure your elbows are bent and suck your arms to the sides of the body so it's a retraction of the shoulder blades. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your buttocks and lift your chest up really high. It might help to contract the core muscles at this time as well as the buttocks and leg muscles. Exhale, tuck toes under, lengthen your arms, hips up, heels down or toward the ground, no need to force them. And as you fall into this downward dog, you're working on pushing the mat away from you. Press your palms into the ground as you push the mat away. And you're thinking and doing this, this movement of lifting the buttocks to the ceiling. Keep your rib cage in line with the sides of your body. Avoid pushing your rib cage down to your mats. Inhale, step the right leg forward. 
So now your left leg is extended and your right hip flexion, chin up, extend your neck muscles, press your palms into the ground. So this is really beautiful for stretching your trapezius muscles. Exhale, step the left leg forward to close the body. Again, use your judgment of whether you need to bend your knees here to get your palms close to the ground. Inhale, pressing the feet into the mat, rising up, lengthen the arms, open your armpits, trying to touch the ceiling, tuck in the tailbone under, exhale, arms beside the body. Good. Left side, so now you've seen the right side, Phoenix, Teddy Bear Phoenix comes back onto the mat and I'll begin incorporating Phoenix into my Surya Namaskar. I'm just massag massaging the ball of my left foot as it feels a bit weird. Okay, ready to go. Left side, guys, ready? Inhale, exhale, palms to chest. Exhale, rise up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, left leg back. Chin up. Hold the breath for plank. Push into your heels. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. You can kiss your baby's toes at this moment. <coughs> Inhale, scoop the chest forward and up, rolling the shoulders back. Good. Bend those elbows and get your arms close to the sides of the body. Chin up, chest open. Beautiful for correcting your posture. Open in the chest, breathe into the abdomen, breathe into the chest. Exhale, hips up, heels down, inverted V. Inhale, left leg forward. Hello, baby. Tickle your baby, smile, have the eye contact. Press your palms down, chin up. Exhale, right leg forward, closing the body again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, arms down. So a bit faster now, picking up speed. If it's too fast for you, just slow down and go to your own pace. No problem. And then you'll catch up later when we move on. Inhale. Exhale, palms on one. Inhale, rise up. On two. Exhale, down. On three. Inhale, right leg back. On four. Retain, plank. Five. Exhale, knees, just forehead down. Six. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Seven. Exhale, inverted V. Eight. Inhale, right leg. Nine. Exhale, left leg. Ten. Inhale, up. Eleven. Exhale, arms down on twelve. Left. Inhale, exhale on one. Inhale on two. Exhale on three. Inhale, left leg back on four. Retain plank on five. Exhale, knees, chest, forehead down. Mwah, mwah. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left leg, nine. Exhale, right on ten. Inhale, up on eleven. Exhale, arms down. Twelve. Part to your feet. And allow the heart to regulate. Be still. Om. Relax. Coming down. We're going to have a nice spinal twist for the adults. I'm going to put baby Phoenix down here for some tummy time. So for tummy time, guys, you'll need a small pillow or cushion and your babies are going to lay over the top of the cushion like so. Arms are going over the top, head just at the edge of the top edge of the cushion and the legs behind. And baby is just going to practice lifting its head up. Okay and you'll need to be mindful of how long your baby's doing tummy time. So we, we, we will be doing um, seated spinal twist now, but if you need to come out of this posture to 
uh, adjust your baby, please feel free and then come back into the spinal twist or catch up with wherever we are. Or pause. All right, so spinal twist, guys. Come onto your shins. So tummy time is gorgeous for strengthening baby's back muscles and neck muscles. And the spinal twist for you adults and older children is beautiful massage of the spine you know getting the spine to move in unusual positions that are productive and healthy so if you did this every day it'd be lovely good spine care all right enough talking sit to the right side of your heels catch hold of your left leg and take it over the right Adjust your seat so that you're sat on both sit bones. So you might need to lift the fleshy part of your buttocks up on the right side. Now I can feel that I'm sat on the sit, the sitting bones, the bony bits of my bottom. Inhale, lift the left arm up and behind you, closer to your right buttock. So the palm is flat on the ground behind my right buttock. So now I'm going to lift my right arm up, bend my right elbow over my left leg and I'm going to squish that left leg into my tummy so at this point you're going to take a breath in inhale and sit up and as you exhale you're going to twist your torso to the left looking over your left shoulder in the inhalation you lift up as if a piece of string is pulling from the crown of the head and as you exhale, you twist deeper, spinning your chest around to the left and looking over your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Let's count back that stretch. Turn the torso back over to the right side. Press both palms into the ground. Inhale, lift chest up, look up. Press your palms into the mat and relax. So you can come back onto your shins. We'll do that on the opposite side. Sit to your left side. You're going to lift your right leg up, carry it over your left. Ensure that you're sat on both sit bones by lifting your left fleshy part of your buttocks up. Feel that your two sit bones are anchored in the ground. And you're going to take your right palm behind you. Flatten your palm fully into the ground, closer to your left buttocks and have the, the palm, you know, moving towards your buttocks rather than far away. You want it to be close to your right, but your left buttocks. With the left hand, you're going to rise up, bending your left elbow and bringing it over your right leg, squeezing it in to your tummy. We inhale together sit up tall we exhale together twisting our torsos over to the right looking over our right shoulders remember the arm behind you is not a sofa so don't lean into it it's like a second spine reminding you to be nice and tall inhale sit up exhale spin and twist good keeping the pressure on the right leg in your tummy so your arm is pushing your right leg yeah that's my right leg into my tummy so there's some compression going on with this arm the left arm squeezing and pushing against the right leg or thigh and let's counteract exhale twist your torso to the opposite side press both palms into the ground inhale sit up tall and exhale, release, beautiful. Oh, that feels so good. Should be, ah, oh, no, ooh. <laughs> okay, shall we do baby coordination now? Laying baby down in front of you. Okay, we're going to start with the arms as usual. Take both arms up over the head. Four times, one and down, two, three, four, perfect.
perfect. Stretch the arms out to the sides of the body like the shape of a T. Lengthen and release. Cross the arms over the chest. We'll do this four times. Second time. Lengthen, shape of a T. And cross opposite arm on top now. Third time. Lengthen, the shape of a T. Cross opposite arm on top. And fourth time, lengthen the arms, shape of a T, and big hug. Perfect, release. Now for the hips, cobbler, bend the knees, so catch hold of your baby's ankles. You can place your thumb just across the middle part of the sole of the foot and have your index fingers over the bridge of the foot. Bend the knees into the tummy and turn the soles of the feet together so that they're just pressing onto each other. And the knees are bent out to the sides and you're rocking gently from side to side. Beautiful. Now see if you can bend the knees into baby's tummy and get baby's hands to clasp hold of their ankles for happy baby. Happy baby, who's a happy baby? Making that eye contact with your babies, a little tickle of the nose maybe. And you're going to, again, just have fun with baby holding on to his or her ankles. And if baby doesn't want to do this, don't force your child. Just go with the flow. Maybe some circles, jazz things up a bit. Perfect. And release. Lovely. And now we're going to do baby shoulder stand, mini shoulder stand. You're going to pre uh, bring your palms beneath baby's buttocks with your thumbs in between baby's legs and you'll lift the buttocks and upper back up whilst baby's shoulders and head remain on the ground. And release and then place your palms beneath baby's head to stretch the neck, softly lifting the head up, which is another fantastic opportunity for a kiss or a nose kiss. What I used to do, or I still do this with Phoenix, we do this, beso nomo in Spanish, we call it like, um, it translates as nose kiss. So you could do beso nomo, beso nomo, and you're just moving your nose, uh, across your baby's nose, it's really cute. Beso nomo, beso nomo. And a third eye kiss, just between the eyebrows. <coughs> Relax. So place baby to one side now. I'll let them have some fun with a toy just over there whilst we are going to come into crescent moon. I thought this would be lovely for today. So you're going to take your left leg back and your right leg forward, bend your right knee, tuck your left toes under, square the hips forward, lengthen your arms to the ceiling, palms together. And as you breathe in, you're going to lift your chest high up to the ceiling and look up to the ceiling. So less of a back bend, a very, very, very micro back bend. It's more about the chest opening to the sky and less of an intense back bend. So we don't really, we're not interested in the back bending here or the lower back arching, more interested in lengthening the arms, rising the fingertips up to the ceiling. So your arms are squeezing your ears and you're lifting your chest up drawing the whole body upwards. Exhale, you'll find it makes you really warm because you're working super hard. Step the right leg back. It may also um, really energize your solar plexus. So that chakra near the belly button. And even the chest actually, it's quite an opening. Uh, it's really opening the um, heart chakra as well as you're opening the chest to the ceiling. So your left knee is bent, left knee above your left ankle, tuck the right toes under, hip squared forward. So we're thinking about recharging our solar plexus, 
recharge in the heart chakra. Ready? Inhale, lift both arms up, palms together, lengthen the arms, stretch the entire body upwards, tilt the chest, and look up. Breathe. Breathe in through your nostrils and out through your nostrils. One more. Inhale. Reach the tips of your fingers to the ceiling. Visualize them touching. Exhale, release. Perfect. And take the left leg back, ready for a recharge in child's pose. So bring your head down to the mat, buttocks to heels, and squeeze the body together. Recharge. Tuck your chins to your chest. So with just a few minutes left, I think we could, um, or we should, reincorporate the uh, affirmations or the statements of truth into our breathing. So we'll just combine that now before we go into final relaxation, okay? So come into a seated posture. Have your baby seated on your laps. We'll have a meditative moment to sit with these affirmations. So relax the shoulders, close the eyes, hold baby or leave baby peacefully in front of you, playing with its toys whilst you take your attention to the space in between your eyebrows. Om. The words I say you mentally repeat after me, call and response. Oh. Oh. I am existence, knowledge, bliss, absolute. I am existence, knowledge, bliss, absolute. Mm. Give that 10 seconds, sink in, just make an impression, the imprint. eye gaze fixed in between your eyebrows and feeling that area light up. Oh. Ready for final relaxation guys? Lay on your backs and have baby laying across your back or laying beside you. If baby's laying on your back, belly to belly, you're going to take your palms over baby's back to support. And you're now going to enjoy auto-suggestive final relaxation. Mentally repeat after me. I relax my toes, my feet, my ankles. I relax my toes, my feet, my ankles. My toes, my feet, my ankles are relaxed. I relax my shins, my knees, my thighs. I relax my shins, my knees, my thighs. My shins, my knees, my thighs are relaxed. I relax my hips, stomach, internal organs. I relax my hips, stomach, internal organs. My hips, stomach, internal organs are relaxed. I relax my fingers, my palms, my wrists. 
I relax my fingers, my palms, and my wrists. My fingers, palms, and wrists are all relaxed. I relax my entire arms, elbows, and shoulders. I relax my entire arms, elbows, and shoulders. My arms, elbows, and shoulders are relaxed. I relax my chest, clavicles, shoulders, neck, head, facial muscles. I relax my chest, clavicles, shoulders, neck, head, facial muscles. My chest, my clavicles, my shoulders, my neck, head, facial muscles are relaxed. Relaxing my lower, middle and upper back. Relaxing my lower, middle and upper back. Relaxing the front and back of my body. Relaxing the front and back of my body. My lower, middle and upper back front and back of my body are completely and utterly relaxed, recharged, relaxed. And this is where we will end the class complete relaxation savasana. Om. I am Tatsat. Namaste. See you next time. Enjoy the bliss. Say bye. Bye bye.